In this devlog, I'm going to show you how I added smart enemies to my game. But before that, I want to work on the crafting system. The current crafting system only lets you craft items by hand, but I want to expand on this and add things like crafting tables and anvils. So currently, the crafting system works by the recipes being read from a JSON and then being added to our crafting system. To add these new crafting recipes, the first thing I did was create a new placeable object, the crafting table. And this crafting table has a dictionary attached to it which holds all of the recipes. When you go near the crafting table, these recipes get added onto your already discovered recipes, letting you create more things. So as a little quality of life feature, I want to add tooltips to show you what items you need to craft what you want to make. So I've gone ahead and added the tooltips and they look fine but they kind of flicker when you hover over them. Now I could fix this, but I'm also getting bored of working on UI. So instead, I'm just gonna start adding the first enemies to the game. The first step to adding an enemy is creating the sprites. So I went ahead and did that. So here's the finished product and I've decided to call it a munch stump. I don't know why, I just like the name. For the enemies, I don't want them to be unintelligent. I want them to know if there's a tree in front of them, they can go around it. And similarly, if they're low on health, I want them to run away from the player instead of walking straight into them. So I've created a little script which just allows the enemy to wander around. Now, this may not seem like much, but As one small step a munch stump. One giant leap for enemy. Okay. Next, I made it so that the enemies would follow the player when in range. So this is cool and all, but I wanted the enemies to be smart. And right now, it seems like they have an IQ of like 3, which is a really small number. And speaking of small numbers, this channel subscriber count. <laughs> Anyways, to fix this issue, I want to create a steering behavior that will help the enemy avoid any obstacles in its way. I did this by following a tutorial made by Matinator. At this point, the enemy is probably smarter than most players. The next thing I wanted to do was make the enemy lunge at the player when in range although my state machine just would not let this happen. So instead, I decided to rewrite a better state machine. How do I know it's better? Because it uses someone else's code. After adding a few simple things like item drops and a damage state, this is what the current finished product of the enemies looks like. Sadly, I wasn't able to add the running away from the player when on low health because this devlog is already running late. Uh, I'll try to add it in in a future devlog. Bye.